Yo, Chad. Ain't gonna lie. Max, he's bad. He's about to react. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. What's going on with y'all boys, man? I feel so good today, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's 3.50. It's dead 3.50 o'clock. P.M., bro. The sun's out. You see? Noxy here. You see? You here. So hit that like button, subscribe, and turn my post notifications so you don't miss another video by Noxy. But that's besides the point. Y'all did let me know what, like, rate yourself. How y'all day going so far? Put it down in the comment section right now and tell Noxie, you having a wonderful day, you having a bad day, you having an okay day, you having a great day. Regardless, I'm gonna make your day better. It doesn't matter what day you having, Noxie here is to make your day better. No bullshit, that's all I wanna do is put a smile on my audience's faces. If you haven't subscribed yet, I wanna put a smile on your face as well so you can subscribe later on. But let me go ahead and say my intro so we get started with the video. What's up YouTube, man, it's your boy T2E Noxie, but don't tell nobody, look. Check this out. As you can see by the title the thumbnail, yes, we are, are on a new channel today. The channel that we're on today is called Midwest Safety. But the title of the video that we are reacting to today is talking about here's why you shouldn't street race. Here's why you shouldn't street race? But the thumbnail is crazy. Y'all know Nazi come on. Come on. Y'all know Nazi be coming with the dope thumbnails, man. Stop playing. Y'all dead by stop playing with me, bro. I did be putting in that work. I did be putting in that work. And y'all did know not to be putting in that work. So go ahead, relax. Grab your snacks. Grab your bag. It's going to be parts of this video. You're going to have the munchies as well. So go ahead and grab them things. I already got my Pepsi right here. And uh, I'm going to be mad honest with you. I don't have no snacks. Well, I got snack storage over there, but I don't want to eat no snacks. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be on my... Trying to feel about healthy shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to feel about healthy shit, chat. No bullshit. Let me go ahead and put that bag, that motherfucker, uh, Pepsi. I don't really like to uh eat snacks that much. To be honest, I'm gonna be mad honest with you guys. I just woke up. No bullshit. Noxy dead ass just woke up. No bullshit. But it is three o'clock, like I told you guys about to be four. Uh, the only reason why I woke up so late because I was editing more videos for you guys, so yeah, so I don't have to like keep. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta understand what I do, but I do it smart. When I record a video, I just don't record one video. Like a day, I record at least like three videos a day, but edit edit like two videos, and then the last video I edit the next day type shit. So I do more than what I'm supposed to, because Noxy could easily just edit one video and post it, and then keep going like record the next day, edit that video that same day and post it. But that's that's I want to post daily, not even just that. I want to post two times a day. You know what I'm saying? So I could get a lot of videos, a lot of content from Noxy instead of just waiting on the whole brand new video by me. I could be staying tuned from one video. The next video gonna drop in like a couple hours later type shit, you feel me? So yeah, I'm not about to talk too much. You already know what time it is. Go ahead and grab your woods, your rock cones, your blunts, anything to get you mad high. Y'all already know what I'm smoking on. I'm smoking on a red Swiss leaf. I got my wood right here. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. This is a wake and bake. This is a wake and bake for me. Let me go ahead and set my blessings so we get started with the video. I'm gonna need y'all go ahead and bow your heads, follow along. I really appreciate if you guys do so. So without further ado, let's get started with this prayer. Thank you, God, for this wood. Bless it. It purifies. In Jesus' name, we smoke. Finally, Knox, he got his lighter on the motherfucking counter instead of in his pocket or anywhere else. No bullshit. I'll be slacking. But yeah, let me see. Let me see how this bitch hit. This motherfucker just look. Woo! Woo! Nice wake and bake, chat. Nice wake and bake. But look, not already talked too much. I already been. Y'all already know what time it is. We already said our blessings. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and turn my post notifications. If you want to be the Nazi family, all you gotta do is put down in the comment section. Hashtag KNOX YYFAM. I'm gonna like it, let you know that you're in the Nazi family. It's that simple. And make sure that you go follow me on my Instagram. We'll be linked down in the description so it'll be easy for you guys to follow me. Without further ado, let's get started with this video. We're on the ad right now, though. We're there on the ad. So let me hit this. Let me hit this one more time before I skip this bitch. Uh. 
a dirt biker who tries to flee, a brawler who swears he's a nice guy, and a party who just doesn't know when to call it a night. Mm. Now I'm in cups. <laughs> On May 1st, 2022, officers responded to a street takeover. That's good, with Jack. Individuals known to be frequently armed with handguns. Mm -hmm. One officer ran after a group of suspects, while another attempted to box no, in a auto. suspect driving a dirt bike. But when that goes wrong, the officer is forced to think quick on his feet. Oh. oh. Use your hands! Use your hands! Hey, what I can say, bro, bro, cops be hilarious, chat. Cops dead be hilarious. Like, I take that ass as a joke sometimes when it comes to situations like this. Because we don't know what the fuck this nigga did. He probably could have robbed a store. A week ago, they just not catching up on him. We don't know, so we can't really give our opinion out right then and there. You feel me? So, me right now, I, as I'm thinking, he probably did do some dumb shit. Like, you know how motherfuckers ride bikes or go down the street, like, do wheelies. I don't know, do some tricks with their bikes and shit like that. And they're not supposed to doing traffic or, like, the hours that they be out type shit. You feel me? So, he probably just did some dumb shit. And the way... I'm not gonna say he's resisting the same video that I said earlier. The video I have reacted to it and y'all watch that shit. It tell me why the cop had this nigga arms behind his back like these and he talked about stop resisting. Nigga, that shit hurt. That shit hurt. So yeah, look, I mean I wanna see what happens. I wanna see what he did to get in that situation that he is right now. Hey, grab that secure car, my right I got it. Go, go, go! Mm. Alright, I got you one. <laughs> hey, grab that. No. Oh. He's in my watch. That watch, that, that shit gotta be a Rolex. That shit gotta be a gun. Here we can see an officer retrieve a handgun from a holster in the suspect's waistband. I mean, it's a holster. He's good, right? <laughs> I saw it. Oh, he wanna embrace What? Nigga, if the cop ever tell you to come here, let's talk about it, nigga, you might not go over there, bro. He gonna arrest you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, keep it going, bro. If you wanna be in handcuffs, you wanna be detained or in custody, you might as well keep going. Do not listen to that cop. That's one thing I had to say. The second thing I had to say was, he got a, uh, a holster to his gun, so that means he's good. So they might not charge him for, like, you know, carrying it while he was riding a bike or one night. Hopefully you got your license, kid. If you got to carry it when you have no license, nigga, you are slow than a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. No bullshit. I don't give a fuck what happens As street takeovers became increasingly intolerable, mm -hmm. even ending in gun violence in many cases, right. officers in Fort Lauderdale put together an action plan meant to control and dissuade unlawful motorists from obstructing roadways. Mm -hmm. It See? would later be estimated that about 100 motorists, typically driving ATVs and other off-road vehicles, participated in the street takeover. Wow. Frequently running red lights or traveling into oncoming lanes of traffic. Yeah. The officers were significantly outnumbered, resulting in a massive response, and the street racers did not take kindly to their presence. Wow. So basically what I just got from that was basically what I just said. He was just doing stunts on the streets. He was he was basically like running red lights. You know, bikers don't really give a fuck. Like they they, they think they, they don't have to follow the procedures of driving, you know what I'm saying, like the rules of driving. I don't know why it is what it is, but I think they have more bikers than the officers, I guess, because he said they outnumbered. So that means you had to call for backup or I don't know, like what more of the story is, they they try to catch every single biker as they can because they get stuff through, you feel me? So bro just really repeated what I just said. No bullshit. Y'all let me know because I ain't gonna lie. They outnumbered, so they only got one so far. Other dude ran past the red light, and the cop, I thought he was going to end up chasing him, but I don't know where the other cop went. I ain't seen him go that way. Dang, you dropped my bike like that? 
if something, if a screw come out, you're paying for it. Cause I'ma let you know that this was working perfectly fine before, you feel me, well after, no matter if I, not even after, before y'all even arrest me, fuck. No bullshit. He just picked it up and dropped it. Like, come on, it's a fucking kickstart. Well, kickstand, I said kickstart, my fault. Look, don't do it to that bike. Where's the gun at? Where's the gun at? Why are you fighting cops with a gun, man? I'm sorry, man. That's unbelievable. Weren't you the dude that was flipping off the cops all that time? He said. <laughs> Yo. Hey, I think we got the ID of the guy that fled anyway. So that's not the person they're looking for? Did I hit myself in my face? Did I hit myself in my face? I have no idea what you did. No, it looked like my, my face hit, though. I mean, when an officer was trying to pull you off the bike, you revved it. You almost did a wheelie. You could have dragged, you could have killed him. I'm sorry. In addition to that, the gun. Hey, where was the gun at? So, Andy, the gun you're wasting. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, it's a fucking dirt bike. Now, I can see with a four wheeler, that's an actual, like, you feel me? Cars got four wheels. A four wheeler got four wheels. It makes sense. That's why it's called four wheel. But it's like a car, so I could see if he was on a four wheeler. Yeah, he could actually run your ass over to the point you could be underneath the fucking four wheeler. You, you think this thing was really gonna run your ass over with a dirt bike? If anything, he was gonna end up falling, or you was just gonna like it's gonna hit one of your legs to the point like you was gonna flip this way or you was gonna flip that direction. You feel me? So you wasn't really gonna get round over you. you Niggas, bro, cops really over-exaggerate, but they can do that because it's the fact that he was resisting and it could have, like, whole, whole more of the story, the cop could have got hurt. But this cop said he could have died. He could have got killed. Like, what? What are you talking about? Like, we we'll... Cops just be doing too much, bro. Secure in the holster. That gun could have went off. No, he's shot you. It was in a holster. Got a holster. It was in a holster. But when you're revving your engine like that, guess what? It could fall out. You can shoot yourself or the officer, man. Man, he just used it. Like, like, you ain't how about that charge that? Y'all might not give him that charge. Fuck. No, I cannot. What is the holster for? Got a few over there, I think. Bro, I'm sorry I'm keep pausing because this is just getting dumb to me. Like everything he's saying is just getting like getting me tight. Like it's really getting me mad. It's a holster. That's just supposed to hold a gun no matter what happens. How the fuck y'all can do cartwheels, jump over the fence, do drills, why y'all got them, them weapons on y'all, like, tucked in, in a holster? That shit never come off the holster, so what are you talking about? Like, all because he doing wheelies, all because he riding a bike, it's, it's just gonna fall off. Maybe because of the, you feel me, the, uh, he only got on basketball shorts, he ain't really got no jeans to actually, like, you know what I'm saying? To keep that shit steady. Now, I don't know if the, the shorts refit the nigga or not, or if, it's, if he's sagging or... But that shit most likely gonna make you sad because the holster and it's a Glock or whatever gun he got in that holster. So it's gonna drag his shorts. So I understand what they saying, but you're dragging it still. You see, you see what I'm saying? He's just dragging it. <clears throat> y'all let me know how high y'all is. I like this guy. This guy, I'm not gonna lie, this is an athletic ass. I'm a seven. He jumped off the bike, ran and jumped like in the air a few feet and was able to land on his buddy's bike and go. Hmm. So, uh, Tell Willie we're coming for him, but that was an athletic ass move. I'll give it to him. I respect that medicine. Let's get this guy on somebody's side. say, pop up. Just know he getting arrested. Once the suspect was secured in the police vehicle, he and another officer struck up a conversation, okay. leading to some startling admissions from both the suspect and the officer. Mm. Okay, you're right. All right. Well, what's going on, man? How much? All right, once we get down to the station, we're going to talk to you a little bit more. You all right, though? Obviously, when you went down... Well, yeah, we obviously... Oh, went... oh, oh, somebody punched me, somebody kicked me, but it is what it is. I, I, don't, I don't know about a kick, but you definitely got punched. Uh, 100%, yeah, man. I know. But, I mean... I'm in the wrong, I ain't tripping. All right, but hey, listen, listen, I appreciate that. So, I appreciate you not pulling the gun out of us. Yeah. The only thing I'm mad about is you trying to drag my buddy. That's a good friend of mine, so I don't. Because guess what? Had you dragged him, I know, he I panic, not panic, like I if, if his thing gets caught up in your backpack or whatever the, the thing you had on the fanny pack, whatever, you 
Bro. It was, it was my key chip. Oh, that was the goggles. But either way, he could have got caught up in something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like I, I, thinking said, I, like I said, But that's the thing. Y'all still wrong. dragging it. Like, look, okay. Bro says he's in the wrong. Like, you are. At least you admit it to your, your You feel me? Now, I give you a pat on the back for that. Because a lot of people don't like to admit to their wrongs. And you actually admit that you're in the wrong on that. So, I give you that. But I don't. I still not understand why the cops say you could have killed him. You could have dragged him. Now, you, pop, you probably could have dragged him. But he wouldn't got killed from that. You feel me? Like, what is y'all getting this killed from? Nobody died. Nobody got shot. Nobody got scraped, punched. Only me. So why do you keep telling me what could have happened if this actually happened? You're throwing me, bro. Dead ass. Like, I know I, I got kicked in the punch, but it is what it is. I ain't tripping. Oh, then you straight, though? Okay. I mean... A little bit, but all right, all right. I'm good overall. You're not, you don't need to go to the hospital. No, no, no. All right, all right. Um, we're going to go back to the station, do a little paperwork. I'll talk to you there more about it. Because you're being a man and coming clean and everything, I know you're flipping off the cops for a while. Yeah. It, it is, it's just a game. I get it, man. Um, we're not going to hit you with the entire world. we got to hit you with what we got to hit you with. But the dudes that got away and that run real bad, they get hit with everything. Alright man, Ooh. since you're a gentleman from here on out, we'll be a gentleman with you, alright man? Thank you. Alright, what's your first name? Edgar. Edgar, alright, Edgar, I appreciate it man, alright? Give us a few minutes to get out of here. Next up on this Florida special, wow. a brawl outside of a club. This one he probably got out like, a in a week. Hey. We gotta add, he probably got out in like in a week, I ain't gonna lie to y'all chat. But we already see what's going on in this clip. A the taser bullshit. party. Okay. Oh. We'll break down what happened later. But for now, keep an eye on the man in the black and orange shorts. Okay, man. Yeah, got him. We locked in, chat. Lock in on him. Hey, we good, we good. Look out! Let the back! With the footage slowed we down, good. it is clear that the man in the black and orange shorts steps forward and kicks. However, he doesn't make contact with anyone. But what is clear are the consequences of escalating an incident with the police present. Yeah. That's what. Oh, it's not like that. It's not like that. I promise. I didn't do anything. He hit me. 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 Bro, he literally punched my ass for no reason, bro. What you mean? Okay, I, okay, I get it. I get what you're saying. He probably did hit. But they wasn't there to witness that. You could have been, you could have been the, in the crowd, bro. But my thing is, why are you trying to do something if the cop is right there? But wait, you telling me that you try to kick him when the cops was there? And you ain't trying to bust a move? No type of great when the cops wasn't there. It looked like these niggas was fighting for a good minute. They on the ground, they, they holding each other, you feel me? Now nah, we good, we good, but we good type shit, you know what I'm saying? You just told us that he hit you. So that means that you ain't hit him back. He probably was scared. That's why he probably jumped in for you or he probably been fighting. He probably just socked you. Who knows? But you didn't lay a finger on him probably. So you try to get your leg back, but at the wrong time. Why would you even try to do it like the cop was going to let that shit slide? They going to... You kick somebody in their face and you miss. They just told me. The, the Who is this? Whoever running this channel right now, bro, I ain't going to lie. He just told us that he missed the kick. Y'all gotta go back just to see that. I ain't gonna lie. But the nigga missed the kick. How did you miss the kick? <laughs> wow. What you saying right there is not. They're not giving a fuck. Let me go ahead. Good shit, officer. Okay. But it's not like bro in the back is snitching. Yeah, turn that off. Turn that off. Piece of quiet. I was like, what the fuck that say? Please 
Oh, I'm talking to you. Ah, hello, who is that? Oh my God, that's the nigga they told us to pay attention to. <laughs> got your ass beat? It look like you just got your ass beat because the fact that you try to kick him in, you miss. You was scared to kick him in, and when, when you go back and look at it, bro, not even gonna lie to you, it ain't even look like he actually. If you're going to kick somebody in the couch right there, if you that bold, you got to go all, all the way out. You got to look at football. Like, you feel me? You trying to hit a goal type shit. Nigga, you did one of these. A peg. It still missed. You was spooked while you was trying to kick him. Let's just see how you going to do in jail. I want to I know about that. What's up, Sergeant? Get in the car. He was literally beating my ass before y'all walked up. All I know is you were fighting with that officer right there. That's all I care about. I didn't swing on him one time. Don't so matter. Like that. I'm a local. I work here. I'm a work, hard working man, man. He literally swung on me like 10 times. In the car. Hop in the car. Wow. An officer responded to a call about a woman unconscious in her car. Is there a DUI in Oregon? But what happens next oh. proves just how unpredictable an intoxicated person can be. Right. Do not push me. <laughs> Where are you going? What are you doing? I could have went home in the taxi. I could have, but I didn't. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want the obligation. I don't. Now you're gonna go to jail. <laughs> do it. Yeah, he's coming. Do it now. He's coming. Wait. Where are you going? I'm, I'm walking. You're not walking. Stop. Whoa. Oh, she's getting feisty, chat. You're gonna make it worse for yourself. I haven't done anything. Get off the cuff. Oh, relax. Just relax your hands. Just relax your hands. She most definitely drunk. Let go of the cuff. Relax. Relax his hand. Let go of the cuff. Relax that hand. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax his hand. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Were you drunk, bro? You so much stronger. Like, is it me? Like, I don't drink that much, but I only drink on occasionally. But when I'm drunk, bro, I'm strong. They gotta pick my bit up like, like these. <laughs> like these. <laughs> and she thick than a motherfucker. I wonder what's the reason why, like, that happens like we get more strength than we we think we are type shit like we we, we just had ten attributes out of nowhere on the strength <laughs> he most definitely go to jail though i'm gonna, I'm gonna just put that out there you don't have to go this way <laughs> stop fighting get off stop me. fighting get off me Get off. You're going to stop fighting. Yeah, I will. Let me get off. Mm -hmm. He's not getting off you. That's what you got to realize. But if you... She was parked up. He was in the ignition. Fire. Took the key out. She tried swinging at the fire. Yeah. Okay. She wanted to get Bullshit. out. We called her attack. She did. Okay. Bullshit. And now she tried to walk away. And now she's in cuffs. No. I hit him up. And now I'm in cuffs because I him up. Okay. Look at him sweating. Look at him sweating. Sorry, let's get on the cuffs. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, we on the ad. Yo, what the hell? I fucked him up. That, that's on a body count, sweetheart. You talking way too much. Not not drinking. Bro. Uh, mind yours. Your <laughs> That's he sobbing. Crying and shit. With a sad music on. Stop it. Stop it. You're going to catch a charge. Mm. Christina did indeed catch a charge and was convicted of a misdemeanor related to the incident, proving once again that taking the taxi is absolutely worth every penny. Mm. You're going to get another. Charge. According to court documents, the suspect, That's crazy. Gino, was charged with fighting in public, resisting an officer without violence, wow. both misdemeanors in the state of Florida, okay. and a felony count of battery on a law enforcement officer. 
Initially, he pled guilty, but later changed his plea to nolo contendere. The charge of battery on an officer was withheld, meaning he was not convicted. Ooh. Ultimately, Gino was ordered to pay $300 in fines and hundreds of dollars in court fees, work 200 hours of community service, and write a letter of apology. Wow. A stiff price to pay for continuing a finished fight. According to court documents, Edgar was charged with aggravated battery on an officer, reckless driving, display of a weapon during the commission of a felony, and resisting an officer without violence. The charge of aggravated battery was dropped, and Edgar pled nolo contendere, whereby he does not admit guilt but accepts a guilty conviction. Okay. Court documents indicate that Edgar received six months of probation and incurred $700 in fines. In response to what? the street that's, takeover that's and the many others that plagued Florida's roadways, Florida passed a new bill which went into effect on October 1st, 2023. Mm -hmm. It banned people from many activities that are common in street takeovers, such as racing and stunt driving, right. and increased the penalties of performing stunts such as burnouts, donuts, and drifting. Mm. This video was brought what to you by safetyvid.org, which empowers newsrooms, crash survivors, and law firms with the real-world video they need to see the truth of what actually happened. Get exclusive access and the competitive edge you need. Download your crash video today oh by going God. to safetyvid.org and answering a few simple questions. Oh I personally recommend and use SafetyVid myself. It's been an absolute game changer. Oh my God, oh my God, oh. Newsrooms that use it. What is going on? Law firms that use it. And most importantly, for crash survivors who need that evidence to get the justice that they need. Truth and transparency. That's safetyvid.org. Wow, I ain't gonna lie to y'all chat. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video though. I fucks with it. No bullshit. I'm already geeked. I'm high as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know how high y'all is. I'm, I'm a 10. I'm dead to 10. I'm out of here. I'm out, coach. Y'all make sure that y'all like and subscribe and turn my post notifications. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be the Nazi family, all you gotta do is put down in the comment section. Hashtag. K-N-O-X, Y-Y-F-A-M. I'm going to like it and let you know that you're not from me. It's that simple. Make sure that you go follow me on my Instagram, too. We'll be linked down in the description, so it'll be easy for you guys to follow it. So you don't follow nobody else, then you think that it's me. But the whole time, it's not Noxie. About to get up out of here, man. Y'all already know what time it is. About to make some more content video for you guys, because grind don't stop. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. You always got to stay on your grind if you want to achieve your goals. So as that being said, I love y'all. Y'all my heart. Y'all my soul. I bond with never fold. It's your boy, T2E Noxie. But shh. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. <laughs>